that's a red flag. <laughs> no, because I'm a young woman that's enjoying No, no, you don't say no because I'm a guy and I'm telling you it's a red flag. But I don't think- I haven't met any men with your perspective before. They I haven't guess. told you that because they're not honest with you. I'm being I honest with you. Like this I feel like- This is the first the time someone's are... been honest with you. I don't agree. This is specifically Western what you're talking about. This attitude where you can just go and do whatever you want is specifically yeah. Western. Yeah. We can't live in fantasy world like that. It's if not I, no, fantasy. no, hold on a second. No, 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 no. You think you can uh, do whatever you want whenever you want all the time. But uh -huh. men, you actually don't know anything about like what men want. So it's manifestly true in you. That's such a harsh <laughs> statement. I don't know anything about what men want. You, you kind of, like, it's unfortunately You know what they true. want. God, we can't there win, aren't. can we, Jake? Oh, you can. It's actually quite easy. <laughs> He doesn't want to be my boyfriend. I don't want to be his girlfriend. Are you guys <laughs> seeing other people? It's like a, <laughs> no, it's that. Simple. Yeah, so it's like exclusive. What's the point of putting a, a ship at the end of it if it's not? I, you don't want to see, be together at all. Well, I think it's the title. He he like doesn't want the title, so it's like a relationship without. But what's a title. the point of there being any title at all? This is what I don't get about I, situationship. Yeah, I well, I don't really. Then they used to call I it feel like situationship. Is but together. you're also so inclusive. not benefits. exclusively seeing other people. Yeah. Right, like we are. But if you could, if you if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, so I feel like, like like he has encouraged me. As soon to as date, something to better comes along for you or for him, it's it's done. <laughs> I hate to think yes, but like maybe, <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> At least you guys are honest. Mm, like perhaps, yeah. So, yeah. You, so you don't want to be with him, he's like your best friend and you'd bounce back I like Okay, that. like I would, if he wanted to be my boyfriend, I would be his girlfriend, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, I so, guess but he doesn't want it. I, well. <laughs> That sounds like I don't want to ask that like a situation <laughs> ship if I've ever Exactly, <laughs> exactly. There's just There's a no lot of complex feelings it. going on so here. So much. <laughs> I would like to be a mother someday, not necessarily a mm -hmm. wife. Like that's not even, I don't ever need to get married. I just want kids and a house sure. to take care of. I want to be a little, Oof, that's like, a, a housewife, it's, but. It's <laughs> the future, it's what we're but, doing now. I understand that. And well, he's like, he might be that, you, you know? You had a kind of a reaction to what she said. What what specifically did she say that you? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a gigantic well, red flag when somebody says that they want to be a mother, but not a wife. Because it means that you're looking for a guy to give you his seed. And then if you don't want to be his wife, then he's on the hook for child support. And he's basically not going to be able to see his kid. You're going to take his money. Like, that's that's <laughs> no, what comes okay. to our head when that, we do that. So. I should have... It's not that I don't want to be a wife. It's like my whole life I've pictured being a mother, a caretaker, like a housewife. But I just... Marriage in itself, like... So you sharing want a, taxes so and all that, I don't need to do all that. To like you, a long-term partner that lives with me. You want a man to give I, you I his, want a partner. You want a man to give you a child, but you yeah. don't want to be a wife. I, I would be a wife. I'd be okay, a so really you, good wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's just, it's just not necessary. Exactly. So as in the, Children lead, are necessary. the, lead, the legal Marriage side of things isn't necessary? Right. Correct. Okay. Oh, I That's agree with exactly. that. Yeah. Sex is like the start of our like a base of our a pillar of our relationship so wait, that's like, that's not healthy <laughs> <laughs> well wait you're so you're you the, your only fans is the pillar no of not my only fans no, the sex i have with this man like oh that's that it's, that's the pillar a pillar a oh pillar. one of the pillars yes. so like the, that's just what we, about the fact that uh, other people get to see it do you think that that's a, an issue do you an think issue? that he might be really enjoying the sex but then when it comes to the long-term point of view that might be a disqualifier no, he. I mean, like he participates in the OnlyFans. So what, what would what would he manages get out the of it, what would he get out of making it exclusive? Like, what extra benefit would he get? I, I don't know. I'm giving him all the benefits already. So, yeah. I like I I. While I don't agree with his mindset, I totally understand it. Yeah. Like you know, I would love to be the wife and do all the things, but like. I understand that he. If he told you to delete it tomorrow, and you just mean he's you're said, giving him all of those wife things like, without being yeah the t without just having that's the title. What about if he, if he partner, told you to delete yeah. it tomorrow would, and he said that we can be together? You just got to delete your OnlyFans. Would you do it? Yeah. Okay. As long as he's paying the bills, you know, because that's paying the bills now. Does he get money from your OF? No. But you said if he we, manages it. If we reach it, a, right. right, if we reach a certain profit then he would but oh. we're not there you said so he, i get to keep he's it not just in the videos he's also helping you manage it too right that's a new thing we're oh. officially business partners <laughs> but he's not getting paid yet or? no oh it's he wanted. doesn't want the money he wants me to have all the money currently. so he's not a business partner he's a helper <laughs> yeah i suppose <laughs> then once back. you said you want to come yes back to something. What, what's your name sorry caden caden <laughs> it seemed like we were picking on you a bit before but i think the, the point <laughs> that we were making is and and homath i think nailed it when he said that you're in that sleeper zone. Mm -hmm. 
you seem to be showing loyalty to this guy. Mm-hmm. You said you cook, you clean, you do his laundry, all of these things that we appreciate. You're a lovely girl. You seem clever. The one thing that's keeping you in a sleeper zone is that you have your body on the internet. And whether or not he tells you that, because he, he won't tell you that, mm-hmm. but that, that, mark my words, that is what it is. That's what disqualifies it because men, we like, we care about how we look in public. And if he has to introduce you and say, oh, this is my girlfriend, she does OnlyFans, then mm-hmm. that's going to be embarrassing. So you've yeah. got all of the, you, you've, you tick all these boxes, mm-hmm. but then that last mm-hmm. one. But we've been together since before I did OnlyFans. I was and his s- state of mind has not changed. It has been mm-hmm. consistent. And if he was that against it, why would he partake in it mm-hmm. and yeah, but he's, benefit but from he's it? He's disqualified mm-hmm. from the long-term relationship, well, though. But they were in he's a against it for his own before. interests. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank so he's you, only Homa. okay with it because he gets the sexual pleasure out of it. But yeah. otherwise, he's not okay so, with it. So she's just said that he, she would be with him if it weren't for if he if he didn't resist. So if she wants to be with him, but she doesn't, that he doesn't want to be with her, and she ticks all these boxes. They've been in a relationship before. The disqualifying factor would be the OnlyFans. Or is it that, that he has commitment issues? Yeah. Well, you can say that. Know I mean, but so yeah. the only thing that you're basing it off of is what you know about her. You know nothing about well, him. I'm, so I'm he speaking. could have hard commitment issues. Do you know issues. him? I don't either. Okay, That's what so I'm then saying. Let's, let's, not, let's not jump to generalizations then. But so what are. we're speaking about here, and I'm sure that Brian could attest, is that guys automatically disqu- disqualify girls generalizing. Obviously, you're married, so congratulations. Thank you. But guys tend to disqualify girls when they have their body online. Well, the conversations that us, I have sure. with people are, you know, a, a platonic relationship mm-hmm. that I have with someone who's on the internet. That would just be like, you know, uh, Brian and Bean Cheeks, do, do for you, example. Do you think They're friends that your, on the, internet. the people who subscribe to your OnlyFans, would you call that a platonic friend? I mean, I don't call it a boyfriend or a yeah, but serious they relationship. View it as a I, very close. I have no control what the person on the other side so I'm but, there for, but, but, there's a service or a per, uh, something that I'm providing. How yeah. the other person on the other side is taking it is from their perspective. But you're aware that they're actively buying, well, it's not they're buying separate, naked though, from Oh, absolutely. I'm it's putting it out there for them to buy. So that's not platonic. Platonic mm-hmm. means that there's no sexualization, and that's inherently sexual, what you're talking about. But it's not more than what the transaction is. If I have a friend, if me and Brian were friends and he started sending me nudes, I would be like, Brian doesn't want this platonic friendship. <laughs> he actually does that. So this is, this is I do. <laughs> but that's the same, that's the same concept of someone nudes. thinking. And I don't think sharing yourself is a well that will run dry at any time. I think to be alive is to love and, and be loved as much as possible. So why not? Like, is when, it love or using? But and well, yeah, the well, the, well, the well always ends up running dry eventually. I don't think so. so I don't do. think. So I don't think say, so human. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. It does eventually run dry eventually. I don't and think the, so. The, the metaphor that I'm using here That's is a sad that you want to you want to you want to bring water to the village while the while the well is still running. Do you know what I mean? But I don't mm. think that I always feel like I'm so overwhelmed and overflowing with love and care for people. Whether it's sexual or... So you have to show yourself naked because you're so overwhelming with love. Whether that's sexual or like friendly or like doing good for others, I think I will never run out of the desire to do that. And so I can't imagine... This is desire. It's not love. It's desire. (laughs) The chat is going into it. The thing is though, like what you're saying is I I completely agree with you that you have a lot of love to give and everything, Mm -hmm. but... But the, maybe the love that you're trying to give is misguided to simps on the internet. Maybe and the love that you love. should be giving yeah. is to a partner and to a family. I give my yeah. love to everyone I can. But the, you I give your is what? Is that fake love? My love. To everyone you can? Because I don't think love has to just be romantic love. I think there's mm-hmm. so many different types of love in the world. And so that's what I'm meaning. So I mean, this is like yeah. the thing that I, I find with... Only, like, and look, I'm not judging you for doing OnlyFans. No, I think you can do it. you can do whatever the hell you want, <laughs> but it's it's just it kind of seems like cope to me when you say that I'm spreading love. You want to make money. That's your primary objective. Would well, you do it for free? Um. Oh, good. good. Unfortunately, that was a good question. Uh, question. <laughs> good question. I think yeah, like the primary reason why girls go towards sex work yeah. is because it's lucrative and it can change lives it can help stabilize women so when you can imagine a guy who's Easy spending money, yeah. his well, money on your only fans and he's oh, you kind of you kind of stopped when you can imagine really? a guy who's who's Just spending money spending money on your only fans okay <laughs> dick in hand yeah late at night mm. feeling lonely oh. are you spreading love to that guy yeah 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 <laughs> you really you, you think that that's loving you don't 
Yeah. What form of love is that? What would you yeah. call it? Mm. I don't know, because I really enjoy w the experience Isn't of what I do. What? Selfish love? Like, don't you do it for yourself more than for others? Yeah, is it self-love? Is it friendly love? Is it er erotic, romantic? Um, and so I found when I was trying to discover myself sexually, I felt a lot of shame in expressing myself mm. and found a lot of comfort in expressing myself online mm. because it was this way to dip my toes into intimacy and fun without it feeling like too serious mm. or like, oh, I'm having this like interesting conversation with this guy online, but like it's at my pace. It's like my comfort level. Mm -hmm. and. So yeah, maybe like it's not like love in that scenario that you gave Jake, but like mm. it's something and it sparks something in me and it's fun and exciting. So I don't think that's the wrong. Yeah. So at, at the end of the day, it's it's for you though. It's not you're not spreading love. It's it makes you feel you. better. Maybe in that situation where yeah. dick in hand at the end of the night, <laughs> it's not about love. But that's essentially sure. what OnlyFans is though. And like, no. trust me when I say I'm not judging you. I've done all of the bad sure. things, all the sex, drugs, and rock mm -hmm. and roll. I'm not yeah. judging you, mm -hmm. but. When you say spreading love, like we just have to sort of get our facts right here because OnlyFans is, is inherently not spreading love. It's actually fueling an addiction that guys have and it's mm -hmm. fueling a, a loneliness mm -hmm. epidemic. And like if you don't want to do OnlyFans and you feel like that's for your person, fuck yeah. But I do, but yeah, I show yeah. my body, but I don't show all of my body. You know what I mean? Well, like what's I, the I, difference I between your stomach sense. and something else? It's just right. your body and it's just... Like but the thing is though, this is the thing that a lot of younger girls particularly will say. It's okay. the fluffy sort of like, oh, it's just free, free love and we can do whatever mm -hmm. we want and show our body. And at the end of the day, it's not just your body. It's not yes. just your body because yes. your you body's actually you, very you, you significant, and especially soul. through yeah. the eyes of a man. If you if you are and like you're 25 now, yeah, you you will have a completely different mindset in 10 years time oh, yeah. when it comes to this so. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you. And like I know yeah. it seems yeah. like I'm picking on you, I but, don't but think I'm just saying that I think I'm honestly, to hear you I think that I think that you're yeah. like there's more in you. Hold on, just one second. Sorry. I think that you're a really nice girl, and like honestly, you've got a great energy, and you do have a lot of love to give. I can tell that. But mm, you're, you're corrupted by this fluffy duffy narrative of, oh, we can give our love to anybody. It's just, I just, yeah. You, you, you spread your love to too thin and, and, you, and it'll be a vapious well, lifestyle. Billy has donated $100. Yeah. To elaborate on Jake's comment, sex workers are feeding an addiction. You are not spreading love, but a drug called lust. Oh. You are no better than a drug dealer. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Art. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, I yeah, think I, I it, think he's yeah. pretty much true and like you know, like we've all like you know, done these sorts of things in the past and I've had to like confront my own like how I was con like contributing to the problem as well. Yeah. And it's not a nice thing to confront, but eventually you do have to confront it. Uh, um sorry, I just wanted to finish the point that we were talking about. So the analogy of a bar, right? So we have all Speak. these different liquors. Yeah. We have all these different liquors and you know, you can go in and buy the tequila or the bourbon or whatever. If you're a person, if you're that person, that man going into the bar and you have a drinking problem, isn't some of that responsibility on you not to consume that alcohol? 100%. Mm. Right? Yeah. How does the bar know if you have a drinking problem? Exactly. Yeah, right? no, it's, exactly. It, it, is, it is a good point, but the question that you asked That's before was, was why is it on her? You said you said it's the man's Well, I said fault. shouldn't I like it her also be, should yeah. there be some responsibility as well on men like, not to consume this content? Yes, right. definitely. Because not everyone's we don't, a sex addict. Honestly, we don't disagree with that. We completely okay. agree with We're that. Yeah, yeah. But like the thing we, where we disagree is like I would not absolve them of responsibility. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm doing that either. Yeah, so I think it's it's joint yeah, for that's, sure. That's just and like I also think it's the messaging around it as well. It's this whole like, but yeah, like I said, it's not. It's everyone not, it's, has a bad relationship with sex. Sex and is addicted to sex. Any, anyone who's watching OnlyFans and is spending money on OnlyFans, that's an inherently negative relationship they've got. That's with that. not true because I spend money on OnlyFans and I have a great. How much relationship do you with earn on OnlyFans? Fans. That's not something I want to tell you. How much do you earn in life? <laughs> yeah, but like, um, what I'm saying is that you earn more than you spend on OnlyFans. You spend money to oh, like... Oh, sure. Yeah. But it doesn't mean like... Like, I'm just giving you an example of N someone that has a fine relationship with I love sex, I love... I don't know what we're saying to say. Masturbating. <laughs> and I... Get the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I the rocks. don't Get the feel rocks. shame or feel like I'm being hurt by enjoying and partaking. And if someone does have an addiction, like she was saying, it's not the creator's um, responsibility. responsibility. Thank you. But don't you... I'm oh, sorry. No, you go. No, 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 no. Yeah, but I'm you're saying it's done. not the creator's <laughs> responsibility, but 
It's just like you could use the bar or you could use like a drug dealer at the same time. But you also Does, there, does a drug dealer have responsibility? So are, is your relationship quality, is the status of your relationship exactly where you want it to be? Like, is this the final relationship you want to have? I'm not in a relationship. She's not in a relationship. But that's also why, because I feel like I'm picky. I travel a lot and... Yeah. Um, red flag, red I'm, flag. So is it a red flag that I travel yeah. a lot? Double red flag. Picky yeah. and what travel. Did you not just come back what from Thailand? Yeah, but I'm a guy. We're different. <laughs> oh, I yeah. hadn't considered it's that. Oh, it's oh my god. Different. Oh, you can get triggered about it, but you're getting triggered about reality. Wait, Wait how the fuck did that get? Why is that red flag? Nick, why did you? you? Because <laughs> if a girl moves around a lot, generally it tends to mean that she's uh, having various different Wait, experiences is, overseas. Nick, and if she's going to places like Dubai but and Miami and these places that tends to be trouble that happens. We would like <laughs> guys are just like you may not agree with it, but guys just like girls. God, we can't win, can we, Jay? Oh, you can. It's actually quite easy. <laughs> and if you do, if, if you listen, it's actually very easy. Why to is listen? Why yeah. is wanting life mm. experience? Why can't I'm, I explore the world money. as much as you, huh? Well, that was Jake's. <laughs> what the fuck? Position. <laughs> but it is kind of like, well, a girl who travels a lot, you're in a new city. Mm -hmm. Sure. You're going to get dick in the new city. I didn't want to say that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or but I'll see that's what we think. Maybe it's I'll take a cooking class. What that's, if she finds another answer. woman? Huh? What if she's into girls? Like, is that okay? Or that a adds, class. Like, it adds that's to okay. your body count. Yeah. Listen, it, it as, as, somebody, as somebody who travels a lot, I know. Totally people. fine, by the way. Yeah, absolutely, it is. Yeah. It's fine. It is. It's a green flag but for a guy. I know. Right. Re reality yeah. hurts sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, as somebody who does that a lot, okay. I'm well aware of what happens when when girls travel a lot. When girls are in Dude, new cities all the time. I just lived in Asia yeah. for eight months. You know how toxic traveling men are. They're just like, I'm gonna find new pussy every night. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. go off. Like, I'm not gonna talk to these girls. Like, they're, <laughs> why is it like a man slash woman thing? The fact like, that you lived in Asia for eight months. I'm like, honestly, I know what happens in Asia. What happens in what Asia? What are you getting? What <laughs> happens in Asia? In Asia? Asia. What happens in Asia? Like you're very Space knowledgeable. In Asia. You're having yeah. a lifestyle that's no. very specific. I went to like guitar sessions on the beach. I uh, like learned how to scuba yeah. dive. I don't know what you're up to, <laughs> but, but I guess you. Yeah. So the argument is essentially that like, you know, is there anything that you would do that would be something you think I don't really want to do that just in case you know I, it might limit my options um, or is it I just do whatever before I, want I started all the time? sex work I hmm. already recognized the things that I would be limiting myself in and I think if you're going to start in that industry you have to be honest with yourself and comfortable with that because in our society it is very um, frowned upon for what <laughs> um, what's frowned upon well just like y'all's view of um, like bodily autonomy and how like having sex and um is like taking society. something away i think that there's a it's I not it's not necessarily sex is like that us doing it i think since the beginning of time in desperate situations women go towards sex work mm -hmm. and men go yeah. towards crime so yeah. that's that's the, I mean, what we're drawing out there your reaction to the video i mean he's not wrong in the sense of like wanting to show her the world i think that's that's there's nothing wrong with wanting to be someone's first experience for something but what if she traveled with her family like what if she had a family that was wealthy and really aspired to travel and show their children the world there's a difference between sure. a girl going on girls think, trips and hoeing out I think we have to distinguish and, though because like that, that's obviously okay right so that, that's what I'm family. saying that's like, not, okay. it's not about the fact that they've been to countries if she's going on a girls trip and hoeing yeah. around that's very different than yes. seeing the world with her family or going by herself and or doing around. a solo trip yeah, yeah I think yeah. he's not wrong in the sense of what he's thinking but there are situations that yeah um, your reaction because that kind of addresses the whole travel thing oh um <laughs> I, I understand his point of being like, I want to show the person that I'm with new experiences, but okay, she's been to Bali. Like, let me show her about like being a nice guy or like, let me show her do, about dancing. Do women dancing. like nice guys? Is that, is that do. what women like? <laughs> yeah. Do, but you, earlier you said that you get bored with men after two weeks. So I would imagine nice men are even yeah. more boring than you get mm. you get bored of men who I assume are even to some degree exciting. I said exciting. it's like my funny joke, but well, it's true. It's not boredom. It's just like, especially like when you're like, because like I date to 
like have that connection and love with people if you can tell that so, I'm usually really honest with my intentions in a relationship okay. or any sort of like dating that I'm doing yeah. situationship or something like I'll be like I'm not looking for a long term partner right now and if that's what you're looking for then this should not continue because I don't want to waste your time I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to hurt anybody for this I enjoy who you are but it's not worth like so okay. yeah I think that like girls tend to do this very well they tend to spin things you say it's not boredom it's just you know me just like sort of well, spreading it can love be it's, boredom. it's not it's not sex work or only fans it's me just sort of spreading love and at the end of the day it is boredom you're getting bored of the guys you want to move on like that's that's what it is well if for it's not boredom necessarily but like let's say there's you're a guy that I'm not the guy anymore after sure yeah like let's say there's a guy that I'm seeing and I'm having fun with but I wouldn't want to be my partner because for, for the for me, it's really important to mm. be like it's it means a lot to be a boyfriend, you know, like it's not like just dating casual. There's a lot of commitment. And um, I will say, though, what, what you're talking about, though, when you go <laughs> traveling in, in Asia and stuff, this this is like your bread and butter, because this is exactly what it's like. People are very free love and, you know, just people are just traveling and like, yeah, we're yeah. just here for a few weeks, just a bit of summer loving. So I understand that those, those experiences have been had. I actually a lot or going to, you know, Yacht Week in Croatia sure. and things like that. I'm going to have the same stereotype in my head that he's out partying and yeah. not someone that I would, you know, want to date seriously. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think the thing is though, is that then that brings us a little bit into body count. I think generally speaking, men care far more about uh, females past promiscuity or current promiscuity than the reverse. I think women, Women are free to care about it. I think it just happens to be the case that they care, care far less. And there certainly are women who don't want to date a promiscuous partner or a partner who had a history of promiscuity, but um, it's just something that men typically are more preoccupied than women are. Sure, but I think, I think that anyone who's looking for something like real and stable is sure. gonna see that as a red flag on either side. Can I just right? get a quick hand raise at the table? Would you girls prefer a guy who is a virgin? Raise your hand. Okay. Just you? Just you. See, are you a... I'm Christian. Like, I grew are you, up Christian. Are you virgin? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving myself for marriage. Okay. Yeah. So um, based. Awesome. Yeah. Based, word. Uh, <laughs> did you have a follow-up on the... I was going to say, and then the guys at the table, see, like, that would be, like, a, a very attractive thing. If, if, if a girl was a virgin, I'd be extremely attracted. But you guys aren't attracted to a virgin because you girls want someone who's sexually experienced. So there, therefore, lies the difference. Well, it's, I mean, it's not, I mean, you also asked if we preferred it, right? So it's like, it's not like... I'm not talking about one esoteric individual, like they're what they prefer. I'm talking about generalities. Mm. Women mm. like a man with experience. Men prefer women who are inexperienced. It's a generality. Good. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. More. So somebody who travels a lot, what we're thinking is it could very well be the case that you've never hooked up with somebody yeah. while you're traveling. But if you're traveling, we're going to think that's a pretty opportune moment to just have casual sex with somebody yeah. and just hook up. A lot of people, you know, if you're if you're on a dating app, you'll always see people never, on dating they apps. They never count them in the body count either. Yeah. <laughs> but then I feel like that's where communication comes into play. If that's something you're really concerned about, that's when you ask details about, oh, well, who did you travel with? What they're, was your no, intent to travel? They, they, they just won't tell they're you. Probably they'll just lie about but it. I mean, that's yeah. still, I yeah. would say that's still an opportunity. That's where communication, like you guys just dismissed that immediately the instead is, of actually a considering communication no 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 the thing is though we just know so you we just, can tell just, that, that's it we can like, tell mm. that's have it. I had that's lots of so sex on my off. Asia trip yes no you did I, you don't have to tell me no <laughs> I'm I'm saying no okay okay <laughs> <laughs> what, is a lot, what is a lot of sex what is a lot of sex what is a lot of sex you had, you had me I'm gonna say you might, might have had two or three summer lovings two or three boyfriends that in might Asia? not be a lot to her. Mm. That might not be a and lot. And it was like maybe three, four weeks. You were on an island together, you know, mm. enjoying the sunsets. Now, boyfriends is different. Yeah, I mean, well, like, I mean, like brief like boyfriends. Yeah. yeah, I don't I mean you're having sex every night. Boyfriends. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, then yeah, that's a lot. That's a red flag. <laughs> no, because I'm a young woman. That's <laughs> no, no, no. You don't say no because I'm a guy and I'm telling you it's a red flag. Okay, no, but yeah. I. it's a red flag most, for you. No, most, most guys. guys. Most you can't say like no. It's but there's on the opposite side of like say this is most. This is the rest. See, like I said before, we're not talking in and esoteric be generalities in and some like random guy who randomly, he's like, oh, awesome. You were in Asia and like had sex with all these guys. That's awesome. We're not talking about those guys. We're talking about generalities. In general, 
If you, well, you tell a guy that you went to Asia and you had one these sec, boyfriends, one at a time, please go ahead. If you tell a guy that you're in Asia and you had all these mm -hmm. boyfriends, he's going to think that is a red flag. Hippie dick mm -hmm. <laughs> on the beach yeah. is a red flag. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yeah. And then that's well, are you not, not dating when corner. you're traveling? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm a guy, so it's very different. True. Because I went that. to, I was in Asia, <laughs> and I went to this like bar with this guy, and he was. Just like really all over me and I wasn't feeling him that hard and so I was like okay I want to like enjoy this party and meet other people I don't want to be like attached at the hip to this person I don't really know that well you know sure like we're not that close we're not flinging like that so like I'm gonna go look around have and if, fun for a while talk to some people get a drink you know did you show up with him <clears throat> yeah wait you went to the bar with him Mm -hmm. was How, what, what was the context? Um, there was like, it's like an island that you can get to like each side by like in like eight minutes in Thailand. Ko Phi Phi? Um, Ko Tao. Yeah, uh -huh. and so you just like run into the same people all the time. So like, I didn't really like know him like that. Was it a we date? Did you guys organize to go to the bar together? I mean, we organized to go to the bar together. Was a I don't know if I would so go. Wait, but you, <laughs> hold on. But wait, wait, wait. Let, let's it just, didn't feel like a date because it, obviously how, it's just like some traveling how did guy you meet that him? wants to hang out with a hot girl. How did you meet him? I think I met him on the beach because I would go to this beach bar all the time and okay. I'd just hang out with the bartender there. So really it wasn't cool. a dating app. It was you met him on the beach. Yeah, for sure. And he asked, it was, was the subtext kind of, he was romantically interested in you? Oh, for sure. Had was. you guys already hooked up? No, we're kissing. One, one you, wait, hold on. You'd already <laughs> kissed. You'd already kissed him. We were kissing in the bar. <laughs> okay, so was this before? Was this you kissed him? And, <laughs> wait, you kissed him, and then you wanted to go flirt with other men. Yes. You kissed Yikes. him at the well, bar that you wanted to go and flirt with the other men at. Well, once you were yeah, because like I was just realizing through that hangout yep. that I was just not feeling this energy guy as much as he was feeling. And was sort of this vibes and yeah, that sort of thing. like yeah. he was like yeah, attaching right. at the hips, following me around, yeah. and like we were like a huge group of our friends yeah. too from that island. So the chakras and just went aligning, and the energy and the vibes, and you wanted to just sort of be the happy energy and the vibes. And, were yeah, but but when yeah, you, that happened, sure. did you establish that you were no longer interested and that you were going to go talk to other That's people? That's what that post is about. How do I mention to the guy that I'm flinging with that but, I'm but gonna did go you? do this? I'm oh, asking, fling. but did you? Flinging, I'm a great communicator. With. Flinging. I thought you you misspelled like you were <laughs> flirting, but this was a fling. You were flinging. It was a fling. I was flinging. Had you? But you said you hadn't hooked up with him yet. No, other than just kissing in the bar. That to be night. honest, that seems a little bit malicious. Oh well. Oh. What do I you mean, have to say about that? <laughs> huh? I mean, that's why I try to have good communication like that, because like that might be hurtful because I have these intentions for myself and my night. But I try to as quickly as I can figure out that I feel that way. Like, oh, this guy was cute and we were having fun at that bar this morning. But now that we're out here, I'm not feeling it. Mm. I'm going to move on and I'm going to tell him that. I'm not going to like just leave him and be like, fuck you. And if you want to be. Essentially, that's what you did though, right? I mean, what should I just like never like ghost him? You know, you have to. Own I think you up probably should have. I think you probably should have been like, oh, I'm just gonna go back home. Thanks, with I've had a good night, but I'm not feeling so well, or something like that, and just maybe leave the bar rather than just like keeping like, you know, him watching you go people. and. We were out with a like, group of friends. Sounds like you're trying to incite a little bit of jealousy, maybe. Mm. Well, I hope not, but I guess people are more jealous than I am, and so I can admit maybe I can unintentionally hurt people's feelings in the way that I interact mm. with the world. If I had just made out with a girl and I saw her go off and flirt with a bunch of other dudes at the bar, yeah, I'd feel a certain type of way You're about that. You're not my future boyfriend. That, I'm not, that's, <laughs> be that's cool. My There's future girl, boyfriend, anyone. we're gonna go out late night. As long as you're happy. We're gonna pretend like we don't know each other. I'm gonna sit across the bar with my drink. You're gonna have a. And I'm gonna watch him you're gonna flirt have with women. You see, I think it comes out after. Us. Oh, I'm always a little bit <laughs> right. suspicious okay. of the of the like the, the everything's <laughs> all love, lovey dovey, you know, what? all peace and energy and love types. Because at the end of the day, that that that's quite mean what you did there, don't you think? Well, I don't think any person is perfect, and I think I try my best to lead. Mm. Seems like you kind of enjoyed it a little bit. I don't enjoy hurting it? someone. Of course not. Mm. But I do feel like maybe because I'm young, I am selfish and I will recognize that. And so mm. what I wanted to do that night was in the moment more important than maybe being like, I'll go home and not 
hurt this person. Mm -hmm. Did I set out to hurt them? No. I don't think a lot of people. More interesting question. People. At what point did he lose your respect? Because there's there's a moment there. Did he there's lose an, my there's respect? An, I can tell that there's an ick moment there. What was it? Did I lose? He lose my respect? Yeah, yeah. He lost your respect at some oh, point. Oh, I <laughs> really don't like when guys lead primarily with sex. And so it was very physical mm. and I wanted, cause like I am a sexual person and I'm happy to have sex. And I also value people that will like kind of do more of that fun dance mm. of like getting to know each other, see how so we work You want a little bit more mystery. Other. He killed the mystery straight away. You had nothing to long for anymore, so. Not mystery, again, like that's exactly the opposite of what I want. I want more genuine human connection. And I felt it was a little bit just to like, I'm on a trip you're hot, I'm hot, let's mm. do this. And I'm like, that's not what I'm looking for. Were you a little, bit, were you a little bit resentful? Of, what of were that? you looking for though? There's fun little like balled up moments of human connection where I'm like, wow, you are such a cool person and I really enjoy your mm. company. And this is what a great night we're Peace having. Peace and love and kumbaya. But no sex? Okay, you're like, Wait. you're doing a bit. Yeah, Wait, can yeah, you well, scoot <laughs> your mic? But scoot like, your mic. But there's a, there's a, what I'm trying to get Sorry. at though is there's a there's a point where this guy's lost your respect. I don't care. And then exactly, you don't care. And <laughs> then you've gone and like done this, and it seems like there was a moment where you kind of were a little bit resentful of him, and you wanted to. Maybe was it when no, he was all over you? She said he was him. too sex forward. Yeah. He was too sex forward. He was too one track minded. I don't want to fuck you yeah. or hang out with you anymore because this is not what I'm looking for. Peace, love, have a good night. I'm not resentful. If you are traveling. Long term relationship is kind of off the table. I'm you're not both, for you're a both, relationship. what's that? I'm not looking for a long term relationship. Exactly. But yeah. so, why would you be upset in a context where it would make sense where the only thing on the table is a short term casual encounter that I'm, that's what he was pursuing? Because even you say you don't, hold on, let me finish. Okay. You even said you're not looking for a long term thing. Yeah. When people are traveling, like if some girl is in town here and she's in town for a week. She's probably not looking for a long-term thing because just the context makes it nearly impossible because she's going back 500, But you can 1, still care miles. about people. Like, if this guy's just, like, trying to fuck me, he's not asking about me, he's not interested in, like, so like you, vibing with me outside of just, like, kissing, like, touching, all this. And girls, you guys know that if you go on a date with someone. I mean, you want... Where, so like, the, they have different motives than what you want. So I'm fine with short-term relationships, short-term... But you want them like, to pretend like they care about you? So I'm confused. Well, if they don't care about me like he didn't, then I'm, I don't want you to pretend. I want so to just wanna, be like, peace, no, love, but, bye. But Enjoy do you, your... Do you want a guy to, to care, like, to care about... Like, you want... You I want him to, find to act. Like me. You want no. him to act as if he would pursue a long-term relationship no. with you, even though the subtext is we're not going to be in a long-term relationship. No. The only thing is is sex is short-term casual sex. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying because I want small like bubbles sorry, of sorry. like experiencing people. I want to know like all about you. I want to know why. Who it, you but are. if it's a short-term casual sexual encounter, what would be the purpose? of getting this deep connection with someone for a short Cause term. Because I love people. Because <laughs> I love experiencing and finding out, again, again, my whole point of love or life is love and to be loved. And so the point is not just to fuck. The point is to experience just, so what's the one amazing time, about you. Okay. What I yeah. don't understand is the one time she's Man. saying she actually doesn't just want to go and sleep with someone is when you guys are confused. So at, for, for, at, at once in this conversation, she's actually saying my motive was not to sleep with this There's person. There's absolutely and their zero motive confusion on my end that, that she doesn't want to sleep with anyone. That's not the confusion. The, 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 the confusion for me was the, was the motive that ended up making you want to go and flirt with other guys in yeah. front of this person who you've just been kissing. Him. Because to me, that's just like kind of a mean thing to do. And I was just kind of trying to get to the bottom yeah. of what was what that's he did fair. that pissed you off that made you want to go do that in front of him. Because females can be very vicious like that. If, some, if, they, if they get pissed off vicious. by something, then they will go and do something to really like I didn't mean to guy. be vicious and I didn't set out to hurt him. I did not know this man enough to consider that yeah. that would be a big deal. I don't mean to hurt this person that I met that day, yeah. and I could have, and that sucks, and I don't want that. The ill so, wasn't there. Fair the I'll, just, wasn't I'll there. just avoid the whole, like, I just love it. That language is just, just grinds me. Why can't I discover the world alone? Why do I have to see it through my man's eyes? It just That's depends. Great. It just depends. I think, like, where we're butting heads here yeah. is that you're looking at it through your worldview, where it's mm, like, sure. 
me, me, me. I want to experience everything and have this amazing life, and that's that's awesome. But isn't Andrew but, but when kind I'm, of thinking but when that I'm, way? But when I'm speaking, I'm talking about from a guy's perspective, and that's where like the essential difference is here. And you're not really. I, I don't think. I haven't met any men with your perspective before. They I haven't guess. told you that because they're not honest with you. I'm being I honest don't with feel you. Like this is I the first time someone's are, been honest with you. I don't agree because i feel like i i love it how you can tell a girl what guys think and they'll tell you that they don't agree because you're not all men i'm not yeah, but i'm and speaking in general I agree. man with a thought process Do you agree, Brian? And I'm sure i agree that there's, I'm, i agree how math agree how math agrees how math agrees billion oh, people in this world okay there is granted i'm not discrediting sure. what you're saying i'm sure there's a vast majority Hold that agrees with what quickly, you're saying you just said the world let me just quickly untangle that how many muslims are there in the world about two billion. Okay. Do you reckon any of them like girls who hold up? No, but no. that's to say that a girl. How many Christians are there in the world? Men. I don't know. Maybe like a billion or so. All of these religious cultures around this the world, only where 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 religion. female chastity is valued at the highest order. This is specifically Western. What you're talking about. This attitude where you can just go yeah. and do whatever you want is specifically yeah. Western. Yes. So I'm telling you from the perspective of a Western guy. If you spoke to an Islamic guy. He would go go nuts if he heard this stuff because they are actually virgins until marriage, all of them. Yeah, they would kill mm. you maybe. <laughs> Seriously. Get the rocks. Yeah. Abdul. Yeah. Get so the when rocks. you talk Get about when I talk about generalities, trust me, it's not just my perspective. Mm. This is throughout cross culturally, throughout mm. history, and all around the world. Absolutely. Like as a woman, I feel like it's not that hard not to cheat. But I think that men cheat far more often because they Disagree. feel a need mm, to. Disagree. Okay. Women have more options to cheat. Women have more ability to cheat. I, feel like I guess physically are. women cheat more, but men emotionally they can't hide it. <laughs> or, or by watching. Women can't right. Hide it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair. But also, fair. I think what you're saying is true in the sense of like, if you look at it biologically and like anthropologically, it's right. it's proven that like you know human beings aren't necessarily meant to be monogamous, mm -hmm. but. If you look at the most healthy societies, they're yep. all nuclear family societies. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as the nuclear family starts to deteriorate, mm -hmm. so society starts to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. So if we had it our way, we could all be running around and being non-monogamous in these little, you know, beach in Thailand, like little, uh, like hippy dippy relationships. <laughs> <laughs> on the beach. But if we want to have healthy societies, it's a man mm -hmm. and a woman in a relationship mm -hmm. with children raising those children in a two-parent household. And they're not... Yeah. Right, okay, yes. And you can have that. Yeah. I was raised in that family, and there can still be infidelity, though. Yeah, there can be. And I actually, it's actually probably a lot more common than people think. It, a lot of the time when people aren't, I like, like they fall out of yeah. love when they get a bit older, 40s and 50s and everything. Yeah. Um, the And I'm from an Italian background, and this is very common <coughs> with Italians, yeah. is that the woman has an attitude of just sort of turn a blind eye. Yeah. yeah, and this is it's it's very common, and then the guy will go out and sort of do do what he needs to do as long as he doesn't bring anything home, as long as he doesn't impregnate right. anybody. Right, oh. Tommy Shell. Don't you think that there's something deeper going on if one or the other cheats? Like, isn't that well that, that there's okay. a problem? So I like foster open communication in my relationships. Yeah, I say well. straightforward: if you cheat on me, please just tell me. Like, let me know. Like, it's a safety thing. You know, like sexual health is so important. Like, I just want to know. And then I would love to dig deeper into why. Because if you are cheating on me because you don't respect me, because you are not attracted to me, because you know, you're, not, you're not happy in our relationship, that's so different than I was just attracted to that person and I ha that had nothing to do with but, you, so. But why would you stay? Like, why would you continue to be with somebody who doesn't value you or want to? Doesn't necessarily because mean I that they don't valued. value value her. Right. It's just for, it for just a guy. It has nothing to do like, with me. This is not my values personally, but a lot of the time for a guy, just having sex on the side with a girl isn't necessarily. If there's an emotional connection, and if mm -hmm. he gives her resources and he gives her his time, and like then and then that's that that's I'm not cool. But, I mean, but that's where yeah, she she comes minutes. into play in in fostering open communication. Is mm -hmm. it did you do it because you were just sexually attracted to that person and you were able to disconnect the emotions and you don't want to be with that person but you were just sexually attracted to engage in a sexual act with them or is it because you fell out of love with me? You have no respect for me and now you just don't want to be with me. If they say yes to that then absolutely you're yeah, out. out the door. But if it's you just have a sexual attraction to them and you just wanted to experience 
an experience with them with no emotion attached, right. then that's different. Yeah. It's not a disrespect to you because exactly. it's not like malicious. Like it wasn't it malicious, malicious, you know? major disrespect. Like, yeah, you've, right. you've also got a good, good point in the sense that yeah. you you believe in, in, monogamy, in monogamy in that sense. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just like what you said before, it's all about communication. You want to lay down those boundaries at the start and you want to say cheating is absolutely not on. Mm -hmm. And then right. if a guy comes to you, it sounds like with your value structure mm -hmm. and he says, you know, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've, I've got a few things happening, I'm traveling a lot and you know, if, if mm -hmm. something happens, I won't tell you about it. And you say, cool, don't tell me about it. Then yeah. That's your value structure. But a lot of the time when people are trying to keep families together in particular, they'll have a little handshake agreement on the right, side. Like don't it's, better than, it's better than breaking the family up. No option to cheat. First, let's communicate, let's sit down, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. absolutely, um, I, agree. I agree. But that's where the, if you commit to a monogamous relationship, that's mm -hmm. where the cheating aspect is. But if you communicate prior mm -hmm. and agree to a non-monogamous mm -hmm. relationship, then cheating isn't occurring because it's been discussed. Is it a relationship? Right. Yeah. It, it, like, it'll, I mean, it'll pretty yeah. much never work if the if it's open on the girl's side. Right. But if you bring, I think it can I work if you bring girls into the relationship. If you bring a guy into the relationship, your, your husband's automatically a cuck. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work, mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. Best. I don't have goals. I don't have ambition. <laughs> I only want to be attractive. I only want to look good. I just want to be sexy. Fuck everything else. Nothing else matters. I just want to be pretty. I don't care. I don't care about shit. I <laughs> uh, p p do a re replay, Nick, on it. Replay. Uh, just and pause it, and then pause it. I don't have. So you say me explaining to my parents that I just want to bartend and live my stupid little life until I get married yeah. and become a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Is that kind of is that what, what you're going for? Yeah, I feel like I yeah said that. Like I just want to be a mom. I wanna I wanna okay. pour my entire life into my kids. But. I mean, do you think that a guy who is able to support a family on one income is going to want to marry a girl who spent her best years bartending and doing nightlife and living her best life and partying? Yes, 100%. You think so? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 okay. Yeah. Good. Look. I'm in that situation ship for a reason. He, you know, that's, Which, we want the same thing ultimately, and he well, can what do you, what, make like, me a stay-at-home mom. If you could lay it out on the table for us some mm -hmm. of the things that you look for in a man and when you when you think about who's going to be mm -hmm. the one who gives you his seed and you become a mother sorry to put it so so vulgarly <laughs> but <no>. like <laughs> yeah. what's well, lay out for me some of the things that you I, that, like, that are essential I, in a man. it is person by person i don't like i don't have a type i don't have like okay let me do it for you then does he have to earn over 60k per year i he for me to get what I ultimately want, they would have to be able to provide an entire household okay. worth of income. So you're, you, you're not going to work? Yeah, cool. So that, let's yeah. say that's probably like 120K. Right, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, does he have to be in shape? Can he be fat? I Could be fluffy. I don't, I'm, fluffy I don't, or I don't love, can, he be, can he be fat? Like, I'm, no, I'm not fat. Does he have to? Because <laughs> you've, been, you've been rocking with those football players and stuff. The, the bar's high. Can he, can he, does he have to be in good shape? No, does not have to be in good shape. Okay, cool. Can he, can he be married? Well, n no. Previously or currently? I was going to say currently. previously, currently, Oh, you no. think there aren't girls out there who are getting oh, looked oh, after? Oh, I was just well, trying yeah, to clarify. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I would not like to be a <laughs> third. He can't be married? No. Yeah, okay. How, what's the age range? What's the, what's the maximum and minimum? Um, oh gosh. Minimum, like, probably like 27. Um, yeah, yeah. Maximum for me as a 24 year old, probably, f oh gosh, like 35 because I want them to raise the kids with me. I want them, yeah. you know, age and has so to be kind of close. What does he have to be tall over six foot? No. No? No. Because can he be like five? I, I five, would prefer, five? okay, in like a, a reproduction standpoint, yeah. I would like him to be tall and handsome and you know not not necessarily fit all right so we want I a tall that, but. handsome <laughs> guy who's under 35 years old yeah um and who makes over 150k a year and can support you financially yeah we're looking at a uh, pretty rare specimen here yeah yeah fair enough and here i am with no successful relationships as was said no no, no. i'm John. not i'm not <laughs> trying to like highlight it to you too much but like yeah it's just that the expectation versus reality. And this mm -hmm. is where I think that like a lot of girls don't think about this sort of stuff when you make certain decisions and when you think about what you really want in life. Because mm -hmm. if what you really want in life is to be a mother, mm -hmm. then, and if that's the expectation you have for a guy, and the, some of the guys that you've been with being high level athletes and, and everything, that sets yeah. the bar high for you. 
because next no. time when you're with Kevin from <laughs> IT yeah. and you're thinking about hey, IT Jermichael is a great from department the department department, department, just saying. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, but that's like that's where sex and partnership is different to me because yeah, yeah I was having sex with those high tier people, you know, that are you making just named, whatever. What I've just described to you as another high tier person. Well, yeah, okay, but I mean, like the people that you say my partner would compare themselves to. Jermichael, the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. That was sex. I would never date the football players that I was sleeping with. In so college, there's a thing you know? called being alpha widowed. I think it's shout outs Rollo Tomasi for that one. And what it means is that once a girl has had a certain standard of men, whether it be a sexual partner or a relationship, mm -hmm. it's burned into her brain. So when mm -hmm. Kevin from IT is like having boring missionary sex with you, you're thinking about Jermichael, <laughs> who yeah. had your face in the pillow. Right. And yeah, so that's burned into so your you brain. So you think like subconsciously, I would yeah. never allow myself to be with someone that well, doesn't meet when, that No, it's just gonna spell disaster for yeah. your future okay. relationship. And you're gonna re resent gonna... him for that. And this is why when I say like, this ties back to us not wanting girls to travel and stuff so much is because when you have those certain life experiences that you guys call it, then it affects your relationships down the line. You might say, oh, but I want it. Why can't I have those, rela those life experiences? You have, there's there's trade-offs in life that you have to make. And some of those trade-offs is Jermichael, the quarterback. What, so what specifically did I say though that you disagree with? I disagree with like, like, I feel like a lot of the points you're making right now, like revolve so much around like status, money, like looks and I feel like there's so much more about people. Can, can really I say people? But <laughs> you really women? love people. I mean, Same too. Uh, oh. you are so interesting personality. Oh, thank you. You are so unique. <laughs> and um, I, I wish you could go from where you are to a better place. And I feel like you and I have yeah. similar <laughs> values. You, you look deeper into people and mm. you value more than but like yeah. the, 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 the this is all yeah. of like this talk mm. is fine and everything but at the end of the day it's a dating podcast mm. and we, we look at it from a practical perspective well, I would hope so more the reason why is we feel the way it's, I a, feel it's like a social experiment that Brian, it's, a, it's a social experiment that Brian's been running if I can say so where we have a like where where we have a practical Sorry. conversation about the actual facts about dating and this is the thing that why a lot of men watch podcasts like this is because yeah. they're looking for practical advice and mm -hmm. practical advice is not yeah but you'll find your person one day because we can't we can't live in fantasy world like that it's if not I, no fantasy. no hold on a second if i go through my life in my 20s and i say i don't want to work i just want to sort of go around and just play games and smoke weed and i'll find my person my person i can't do that because in the real world in the practical reality that will be so glaringly obvious to me that I have no options with women. And I've been in that position before. And you can't avoid that. But unfortunately, girls and guys communicate a bit differently. If Brian started doing that tomorrow, I'd be like, Brian, sort your shit out. Like, why aren't you working anymore? Girls will say to each other, yeah, you go, girl. You do your thing. You go and, you know, just be happy in you and love and hippy-dippy stuff. And unfortunately, when you guys get confronted with reality sometimes, it's a little bit harder to swallow. Can I just say... The based Christian conservative wanted to say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just think up. that like, so the reason why I'm a virgin is because I feel like I don't want to compare somebody. I don't want to compare my husband to somebody else, like sex wise. Like I don't want to see that image in them. Mm -hmm. So like seeing that like the whole cheating thing, like if I'm with a virgin, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about cheating because they're not comparing me, comparing the way that we have sex to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just a very common thing now is just sex, sex, sex. Marriage, sex is like 2% in marriage. You gotta worry about personality, the way a person treats you, not. But that's the thing, like, so focused on sex, you don't know anything about me, what I offer. But the it's thing like, is, sex, the, sex, yeah. sex, sex. Males, <laughs> you have to, we're looking at this from a practical perspective. And this is something that's very important to men. And I know you think you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, all the time. Uh -huh. But men, we actually look at these things and we value them. So you might not value it. But if you ever want to have a long-term relationship that's meaningful, and if you want a man that's many. worth, if you want a man that's worth his salt to look twice at you, you have to take these things in mind. Why I'd probably rob your partner you. of experiences? If I was dating anyone, I would no, trust go that do if it. you're going to be with done. me. This is the okay. thing. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah. Peace it's out. Just, it's a different You're not the man for me, Peace Brian. Out. You too, homie. Oh, rip. All right, peace in the chat, boys. Um, yeah, difference in values. <laughs> just different preferences. De definitely different pre preferences. Oh, yeah. Different, yeah, I mean, it's just different values. Like we said, for like sure. there's, there's 
trade-offs in life and one of the trade-offs yeah. that you have to make as a girl like like we said before if it is something that you value to have a long-term relationship with a guy who has any sort of self-respect I don't one think of the that's things the that you will not be doing is saying i want to go to thailand for a month that's because that, that guy will just say uh okay you see you later when you get back you will be single who are you dating I would never really? ever even like go on a second date with someone that was You're like that. You haven't had a relationship for more than two weeks, so that's that I've kind had of a says for a lot. Three and a half years, a year, yeah. and two years. Look, it, I'm just telling you the reality of how guys think here, and in terms of like a girl wanting to go away by herself to Thailand for a month, guys are just not going to put up with that. And you can. What are you scared of? Me fucking someone? Oh, then yeah. Let's have a relationship yeah. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad let's you Let's have a conversation yeah. where, like, I respect you yeah. and I love you, and my relationship with you is more important than bodies and people like yeah. that. I, I totally get, like, I do understand what you're saying, and that's where my open mindedness comes in. And, like, I know that there are people out there that exist that mm -hmm. have that view, but, like, mm. for me, I choose a partner that I would like to see every single day for the rest yes. of my life and she's i would bad. love to travel the world but to you're 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 married so you you can speak to that you're not you're 25 and in like i said before in 10 years time yeah like right now you're young you're gorgeous you're 25 you're getting all of this Thank male you, attention oh it's fantastic <laughs> in 10 years time if you're 35 and you're buying your own drinks at the bar it's yeah. going to be very different you're going to have a very different yeah. attitude towards this and this is the thing that girls don't get told guys we don't really need to get told because the world tells us every single day our flaws. Girls, you can kind of just float about and say, yeah. Are you kidding? You the know, world doesn't tell girls every day their flaws. No, when it comes to dating, no, you don't. Because you actually don't know anything about like what men want. So it's manifestly true in you. That's such a harsh <laughs> statement. I don't know anything about what men want. You, you kind of, like, it's unfortunately You know they true. want sex, they yeah. want body, but other than that... Yeah. He's, he's a straight really. shooter, okay? But he's, he's a generalizer. A Everything shooter. you say is, I like yeah. you, but I was like, come on. I like Let's you too. No, no he wasn't. He really was, was to save, save you. you. Work with the, the me. thing come is, on. I think I could save you, honestly. Stop I think saying, saying that to me. <laughs> the, thing, the reason why Same I think I, that one I in could. The no, no, no. I'll say what I want. The reason why I think that is because like you're. I think you're actually a really nice girl. you got a lot to give. you got a lot of love to give. And if mm. you gave that to the right place, it would be very powerful. Um. And this is what I always say. <laughs> to, don't give me the violin. <laughs> this is what I say to girls though. If you, if, you, if you know this stuff, and if you know it young, it's a superpower. You're gonna have a very successful marriage one day. I could be sure. certain of that. Yeah. It is yeah. so powerful yes. for girls to know this sort of stuff and to know yes. it young. But a lot, yeah. they just don't get told. What they get told is do whatever you want all the time with no consequences. Exactly. Let's get the microphones. Um, I'm a chick, you're a dude, hit on me, go. Oh, I saw a video like this on YouTube recently and it was very embarrassing I'm ready. for the girls. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm a girl. Usually, <laughs> like how I hit on people is I'm just kind of like, No, know. but you're the, you're the dude, you're the dude, I'm the chick. Oh. Spit some game. It's like. Uh, hey, J Jacqueline. Uh, <laughs> This is hard. Can uh, I just describe hey, what I think you hey, should Becky. do? Uh, this do fucking it. lit. Huh? Like if you're, I can't. I can't do this. I'm not. I'm not a theater kid. I was in lighting. Wait, no, I wasn't on stage. I can't like improv Neither like this. But and they're I'm, really ready to act. They are really ready. And I'm not Jacqueline. Look at the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> He's like ready. <laughs> You're trying to hit on my friend. Oh. Go. <laughs> He's protecting me. <laughs> Bitching right. about our friends. Hey. Yeah, this fucking. <laughs> What's up? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was spot on. Don't do this to me. They did this well. They did it this oh, well. Oh, um, hi. Yeah. I've never been in this predicament before. Hi. You've never been in this predicament? No. What? I think she dropped the role play. Oh. Keep, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that was your line. Okay, Jeff. I didn't up for improv. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> oh my what if I start crying? Would that be very interesting to you? <laughs> no, we'd, I'd probably just be yeah. like... What kind of girl am I talking to? Because if it was me as a man talking to a girl, they would be like a Bro, you think, you're overthinking. You know? yeah, you're I, over I kind of am. Thinking. I'm you're a overthinking. This is what I do. Yeah. I would say I would like women respond to like you complimenting their their vibe Titties? or <laughs> what sorry so, so, so. <laughs> what yeah <laughs> what like their vibe or complimenting them on something that they're wearing yeah. like actually starting a conversation instead of immediately going okay. for looks. having a purpose to okay. like come up to them Me and, Jacqueline and then are ready. going away sammy joe we're ready go for it <laughs> okay. have you seen sally you? i'm not but i guess i'm about to be <laughs> oh, sally so. 
Like bitching about our friends. Oh my god, do you want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> uh, we uh, hey, ladies, go. are you uh, having a good night tonight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys look great tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So, what do you, what are you guys into? What brings you guys out? Just hanging just, out. Just dance. Nice. Are you guys celebrating Girls anything? Night. Girls' night. Nice. Yeah. Do you I guys just, do this often? Huh? Do you guys do Girls' night often? Oh, you know. Like am I, wait, what's that? Twice I, a week. What's that? Am I, am I just trying to get to know you, or like you're trying to smash? You're trying to smash. Trying to smash. Oh well, if you guys are on a girls' night, then you're automatically smashing. No, we're, we're no, we're down. We're down, to <laughs> we're down to smash, but only with like a. Chat. So do you? So do you guys like? No, it can't be mad. To continue the <laughs> role play. You can't interrupt the role play. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Do you come here? Do we? Do your we drink, your, your, your drinks look yeah. a little empty. Like, do you, do you guys want another yeah, yeah. drink? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Go awesome. Some, Why don't yeah, you come yeah. with me to the bar so that you guys can see me ordering the drinks? Uh, it's a little bit creepy, to be honest. It does sound creepy. You would rather me bring you a drink without you seeing it being made? Yeah. That's dangerous. No, I think this guy's a bit aggressive. Wow. That is so <laughs> dangerous. Never been <laughs> girls before. <laughs> I don't know. These guys uh, are no guys being a woman. I, I would Maybe say later. let's head over to the bar. Let's head over to the bar and get a drink. Oh, um, this guy's pretty forceful. Maybe later. This guy, We're gonna go this to the girl's okay. That's fine. <laughs> we should leave him alone. They don't totally seem like okay. they wanna. We'll, hang we'll out. be here when you come back yeah. if you're interested. Bitch. We'll Wait, see you around in <laughs> <it. laughs> I came back. I came back in. I, I did, yeah. That just goes to show that you guys would carry a drink from the bar to someone without <laughs> no, them watching. No, no we, it we wouldn't being have offered the drink. No. <laughs> you wouldn't have offered me a drink? <laughs> no. Mm, you not straight amazing. away. What if I start Can't, coughing? Really? Thank you. What? Hey, I'll, I'll give you some cough syrup. I'd be like, I'm gonna find you. Oh yeah, Matt, I got you. I get you a mask in my back pocket. <laughs> that was just a big fail. <laughs> you guys account. were really poor girl so. actors. That's how girls. Honestly, we I gave you a lot. We gave you a lot. Realistic. Yeah, I've been. I've, I've had a lot worse treatment than that. But they did. You could. I seemed like girls, but like obviously not interested. So if I was the guy, I would have instantly been like, oh okay, have a good night. Yeah, but you got break through the shell a little bit. Uh, but if you're you, if you are a girl that is out on a girls' night down to go home with someone, you're not gonna have that front facade. Yeah, on. why do you have a shell? Fox. I don't have a shell. A what? You call it a shell? You gotta break through the shell. Like if you have an M. That's how it is. Like if I yeah. see a guy, that's, I like that's the look name him up of the and game. Down, I'm like, all right, he's got like funky yeah. garb. Normally, on. I won't just approach girls like that who I haven't had any. If it because yeah. it, I, normally girls will put themselves in your space. Like if you're mm-hmm. near them at the bar and they like look close to you, if they like give you the eyes a little bit, yeah. they give oh, you yeah. signals. The if room. they've given you mm-hmm. no signals, they're not normally like they'll totally. stay well, way away from you. Even in the mm-hmm. gym, if they come near you and stuff, like they want you, you just know they want you to. We have to. a Twitter. Well, wow. I, I on your note here, you say I strongly believe that for me to have, a, and I already read this, but I just have a point on it. I strongly believe that for me to have a healthy, long-standing relationship, we need to support each other in experiencing all that life has to offer in sex, in love, and experiences. Mm -hmm. When you say that in a relationship, we need to support each other in experiencing all that life has to offer in sex, in love, and experiences, are you talking about sleeping with other people in a, like, while in a relationship? If it makes sense for me and my partner, yeah. Well, is that what you want? Sure, yeah. I have a long-standing committed relationship. I definitely see myself being very comfortable. I'm not a very jealous person. And I think the only time that that sucks is with cheating because you're doing something malicious towards me. You are taking my trust for you and deciding that, fuck that, my sexual urges are more important. So you, would, you would step out as well? Um, if I feel like it, yeah. If you feel like it. <laughs> it's like a very broad way to say that, you know, but like. If you, if, but any guy who lets. I'm not his, a super like. Yeah, any guy who lets his girlfriend step out is a cock. I saw you, a car you wouldn't respect license a plate on the way he yes. said love to cut. <laughs> so. Well, maybe he's your that guy. Is I know. I was like trying to wave him down. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey. But the, but the more serious point though <laughs> is that if if that were the case, you wouldn't respect that guy. You'd walk all over him. You would absolutely eat him alive. Sex is not the only way to respect people. I'm not talking if about that. I'm talking about the actual like res- fundamental respect in what, relationship. What? Because my partner is cool with me having a sexual experience outside of our relationship. Therefore, unrespectable, bad guy, walk all over him. No, uh, I it, don't feel that. That's personally, what you said. I'm, not, I'm more talking about like a fundamental respect that rela- that happens in a relationship, and this normally happens when 
the girl feels like the guy is in control and that he's taking the lead and that she can she can respect him and that she can respect his authority and she can respect the decisions that he makes and think no, he, we're when, when we, if you just let me finish my point if and she respects his, his the decisions that he makes and that um yeah that he's got the lead when she has a problem he can solve it and generally a guy likes to be respected we have we have egos all of us guys and like i said before there's certain superpowers that you girls have that if you just tapped into it would be so so powerful and one of those things is just making a guy feel respected yeah. if you know how to make a man feel respected but i think respect is earned through communication like if Can my partner mic shows, closer, like oh, okay if my partner is like if we get together and have a conversation and come to our boundaries and agreements it's not disrespecting you disrespecting you would be to hear what you're cool with and not cool with like to hear that you don't want me to like flirt people at the bar i tell you what and then I but do. respect that would sucks. be respect would be me telling you my boundaries and you saying yes sir yeah yes your mouth is quivering as you're saying yes daddy that's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I, I just want to say this was really fun. Yeah, yeah. really. Yes, guys. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, I got a little got spicy in there a couple times, but I we had made, it. I did it all in good power. fun. You we made know? fun of each other. It was yeah, good I think y'all have. I appreciate it. Yeah, Word. two different opinions. Word. I actually like, get along cool really well normally Oof with like folks. the spiritual sort of types. Normally, oh. like, I have really mm-hmm. robust conversations with them, so we'll call it that. Are you calling me spiritual? Yeah, you're one of the spiritual types. I love it. She's one of the spiritual. Like a hippie. I go home tonight. Kumbaya, like, kumbaya belly dancing. You know, <laughs> the those, those little, hippie life. You, you definitely <laughs> tried the fire sticks yeah, in Thailand. Mobilizing sage. Trying to clean this energy. I'm like, like, just aligning the chakras and stuff. So, Jake was awesome. Uh, his second time on the show. Always happy to uh, have him. And, uh, I appreciate you being level-headed and not shoving your opinions down people's throats. Oh, thank you. I, like thought, I thought I was getting too shoby yeah. at times. I mean, like, you're like, like, <laughs> strong in your Enough opinion, shove. but yeah. not strong to where it was like, let me convert your thoughts yeah. because yeah. my way is the only way. I feel like that happens I mean, his, his way is kind of the only way, though. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we all Jake's way is kind of the only way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be real. If 